Hello, 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 it's Robert Acme Locksmith. Today we're going to talk about how to change a code in the mechanical lock key keyless entry. So it's a little bit tricky to do, but if you want to put a new code into your lock key lock, this is how to do it. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith, and you're watching Locksmith Recommended. Hey, let me start by saying we love the Lockheed Mechanical Locks. This is a mechanical lock, allows a single user code, and it has a lifetime product warranty, and it's pretty hard to beat that. I'll put a link down below to where you can find some of these products in case you're interested in putting one on your gate or on your home someplace. First thing you're going to do when you want to reset a lock is pick out four new digits. The thing about Lockheed Locks is it is mechanical, so a digit cannot be repeated. Each digit must be used only once in the four digit combination. The most important thing you need to know about these locks is that when you are changing the combination, you have to clear the lock and keep it in clear mode while changing the tumblers. If you don't do this, you're going to void the lifetime warranty. On many of the lock key locks, you're going to see a C button. This is the clear button and that button needs to be pressed and held during the entire combination change. On the lock that we have here, we don't have a C button. You clear this lock by turning the thumb turn 90 degrees. Now, the direction to turn the thumb turn is going to depend on how the lock is set up. It's either going to go counterclockwise or clockwise. But when there's no combination entered, it's only going to turn one direction 90 degrees. In the other direction, it's only going to turn a few degrees, but not a full 90 degrees. So it's going to be limited. So that's how you're going to know which direction to turn it. So very important, if you have a C button, press and hold that during the entire combination change. And if you don't, turn the thumb turn 90 degrees during the entire combination change. Now that you understand that, you want to turn that lock over and remove the two red screws that are holding on the cover plate. While you're doing that, it's a good idea to keep your thumb on the back of this plate because there are springs inside of there and it can pop out and some of the springs can come loose. So as you near getting this removed, just have your thumb on it. If a spring does pop off, they're not too hard to put back on, but you got to search around the floor to find them and that can be a little bit annoying. Now you'll see, once this is open, you'll see two different color pins, red and blue. The red ones coordinate to the digits that the combination is set to. So what you're going to do is you're going to put red wafers into all of the holes that have the numbers of the digits that you want. To remove a wafer, just have the lock in clear mode like we discussed, grab it with a pair of tweezers and pull it out. Most of these locks actually ship with a pair of tweezers in the box, so if you got a new one, you should have a pair of tweezers handy and already provided for you. We're basically just going to switch wafers around until the red ones are in the numbers that we want that correspond to our code. Now one thing to notice when you're pulling a wafer out or putting a wafer back in is that one side of it has a bump on it, and you look down into the lock, you'll see the corresponding groove that that bump fits into. So you're going to want to make sure that you line those up accordingly so that the wafers go in nice and easy. Just give it a little push with your thumb and you'll pop those right in. We're just going to repeat these with all the numbers that we need. And once those red wafers are in the corresponding numbers, your combination is set. Then you want to go ahead and put the top plate back in by reinstalling the screws. Next, go ahead and test the lock and make sure that the combo is working. First, clear it, as we discussed before. Then try your combination and make sure that when you turn the thumb turn in the other direction, that it spins freely for about half a turn. If it does only spin just a little bit, that means the combination did not take or the combination is not set correctly. So if you turn it just a little bit and it locks up, you may have to go through this process one more time because the combination is not working. Once you've changed that code, you are free to reinstall the lock. Now here's the lock that we've used in this demo installed onto a left-handed gate. Note that when we actually showed you during the process to change the combination, we were using the out-of-the-box right-handed configuration, but now we've got it installed on a left-handed gate. We can test the combination with it installed. We're gonna clear the lock out, enter the code, Boom, everything opens up, everything's fine. We are all set. In another week or so, we're gonna show you and post a video on how to install this lock from scratch on a side gate. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications if you're interested in learning how to install one of these so that you get notified when that video comes out. If you're watching this and the video's already pretty old, I'll make sure to put a link to that down in the description below. 
I'm Robert with Dacme Locksmith. If you like this video, please smash the like button, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching Locksmith Recommended. Oh.